Hi Neil again, this time uh, well, I'm still in York and I'm still in, uh, do, carrying out a survey of one of the buildings for fungal decay for woodworm before the refurbishment of the property takes place and it's actually it's a, it's a nice it's a nice opportunity that sounds terrible but it's one of these rare occasions that I actually get to uh, view death watch beetle we see it very rarely in the northeast but obviously the further south we go the, the more chance that we're going to come across it but obviously looking at this beam this structural beam we've got an infestation of death watch beetle now we've got an ongrown rainwater penetration issue in this location. You can see the oak rafters and you can see what's happened to the feet of the oak rafters. We've got both common furniture beetle and death watch beetle infestations. But you can see it's quite significant, the degree of the damage that's been done. Now to be fair, this is the property was stripped out oh, six months ago, probably a little bit longer. So since the property was stripped out, uh, there was there, I can find no evidence of fresh borders. There's every chance that these infestations are historic, but obviously they've been covered up for a long time. And when they've, they've exposed it, when they've stripped everything out, ready for the refurb, that's when we're discovering the evidence. But it's just so we can see the difference between common furniture beetle and death watch. Uh, for the fly tools, for the size of the fly tools. Obviously the, the Death Watch Beetle are quite, quite a bit larger. Uh, you know, the timber, I mean, it looks, doesn't look great anyway, but when you get a screwdriver, you can push it all the way through. And I mean, that is a, what? That is a, a 10 inch screwdriver, and I can push it right through virtually to the hilt. So it's one of these uh, dry, uh, sorry, death watch beetle. Requires a high, obviously a high moisture content. It's normally associated with a type of fungus called Donkeypora expansa, and you often find the two go hand in hand. Where you've got the fungal decay, especially Donkeypora, you will find that you often find that you've got death watch beetle associated with it, or obviously involved uh, in the same location. But it's just a nice one because, you know, we see plenty of common furniture beetle. We see it on a daily basis. We see wood boring weevil on an almost daily basis. But for somebody like me who lives up north, I don't really get the chance to come across Death Watch that often. I think I've only ever seen it three times in the northeast. So when I come across it here, there's obviously a few infestations of Death, death Watch uh, affecting the, the timbers, predominantly oak timbers. And I just thought it was a nice little one I can use for training purposes, but for the less experienced, it just gives you an indication of what you may be looking at. There's still an ongoing rainwater ingress issue in this corner. You can see by the water run marks on the wall. There has been work carried out to make the roof watertight, but there's obviously still a bit of an issue because these timbers are very damp. Okay, I hope that helps uh, the less experienced surveyors out there. Take care now. Bye-bye.